in this video i will show you negative series clipper with bias circuit one with positive bias negative series clipper with positive bias another with biased negative series clipper with negative bias so let me talk about biased negative series clipper with positive bias see if we have a diode and a resistor connected like this that is our negative series clipper circuit and if i add a bias voltage here that will be our biased negative series clipper as this we are applying the positive bias voltage therefore it will be biased negative cli series clipper with positive bias so when we have a bias voltage in the circuit in that case in our first step we have to identify the region in which the diode will be on or in forward state and in the region in which the diode will be in off or reverse off state or reverse bias so during the positive half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative see the positive terminal of the input voltage is connected with the p side of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the n side of the diode therefore the input voltage when it is in positive half cycle it will try to drive the diode in forward bias but the problem arises when we have a bias voltage here if i consider this bias voltage alone you will see that the positive terminal is connected with the n side of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the p side of the diode that means this Ref reference voltage is trying or the or this bias voltage is trying to drive the diode in reverse bias so at first this input voltage has to overcome the effect of this reference or bias voltage to conduct the current through this diode or to drive the diode in forward bias so if this input voltage is exactly equal to our reference voltage vr in that case the effect of this input voltage and the effect of this reference voltage will be equal therefore the current through this diode id will be equal to zero and this vi equal to vr will be our transition voltage so this is our transition voltage the for the input voltage above this transition voltage our diode will be in on state or in forward bias and for any value of the input voltage below this transition voltage our diode will be in off state or in reverse bias okay so consider the voltage when the input voltage is greater than our transition voltage when the input voltage is greater than the transition voltage this diode will be in forward bias so when a diode is in forward bias i can replace this diode with a with a short circuit so if i replace the diode with a short circuit our new circuit will look like this circuit you will you will see that as long as the input voltage that means from this point to this point the input voltage is greater than this transition voltage as long as the input voltage is greater than the transition voltage the in input voltage will be appeared directly across the output terminal so in that case our output voltage will be equal to our input voltage that means the output voltage will change in the same way with our is changing so from this point to this point our input is changing like this so output will change or the follow the same wave shape of the input voltage now consider another condition of the diode when the input voltage vi is less than this transition voltage that means the voltage from this point to this point or from this point towards the voltage in the left side when the input voltage is less than the transition voltage our diode will be reverse bias or in off state so when a diode is in reverse bias i can replace that diode with an open circuit so if i replace the diode with an open circuit our new circuit will look like this and see in this open circuit our total current i will be equal to zero so as a result the voltage drop across this resistor will be equal to zero so the output voltage as long as the input voltage is less than this transition voltage will be exactly equal to our positive reference voltage vr that means from this point to this point our voltage will be equal to plus vr or from this point towards left our output voltage will be plus vr that means from this point to this point our output voltage will be equal to plus vr and the points from and the region 
look at the region here our output voltage our input voltage is less than the transition voltage so from this point towards the left our output voltage will be also equal to plus vr and this is the complete output voltage waveform for this negative series clipper with positive bias now i will talk about biased negative series clipper with negative bias see in the negative series clipper circuit we are applying a reference voltage of minus vr the positive electrode of the applied voltage is in downward direction and the negative electrode of the diode is in upward direction so this is a negative series clipper with negative bias as there is a voltage source i have at first i have to define the region in which the diode will be in forward bias and in which the diode will be in reverse bias which we denote as transition voltage during the positive half side this terminal will be positive this terminal will be negative so the positive terminal will be connected with the p side of the diode and the negative terminal will be connected wi with the n side of the diode Dur and in the in that half cycle the in case of this reference voltage the negative terminal will be connected co will be connected with the n side and the positive terminal will be connected with the p side of the diode that means for the positive half cycle our diode will be in forward bias that means our transition voltage will lie in the negative half cycle now consider the negative half cycle of this input this terminal will be negative this terminal will be positive the positive terminal of the input voltage is connected with the n side of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the p side of the diode and now consider the effect of this voltage source the negative terminal is connected with the n side and the positive terminal is connected with the p side that means this input voltage is trying to dri drive the diode in forward bias and this reference voltage is that means the input voltage is trying to drive the diode in reverse bias while the reference voltage is trying to drive the diode in forward bias so when the input voltage is equal to minus vr in that case the effect of vr will be minimized by this input voltage and that voltage will be our transition voltage so this vi so this red shaded region is our transition voltage in which when the input voltage is greater than the transition voltage our diode will be in forward bias and when the input voltage is less than the transition voltage our input our diode will be in reverse bias okay so when the input voltage is greater than our transition voltage that means this diode will be in forward bias so when the diode is in forward bias i can replace that diode with a short circuit if i replace the diode with a short circuit our new circuit will look like this circuit now see we are applying an input voltage of vi okay we are applying an input voltage of vi as there is no other voltage dropping component across except this resistor you will see that when the input voltage is greater than the transition voltage our output voltage will be exactly equal to our input voltage v i as long as the input voltage is greater than the transition voltage that means our wave shape will follow the same waveform of the input voltage as long as the input voltage is greater than the transition voltage so our output will look like this when the input voltage vi is less than the transition voltage this diode will be in reverse bias so when a diode is in reverse bias we can replace that diode with an open circuit see when the input voltage is within this interval our input voltage will be less than this transition voltage so our diode will be in reverse bias if i replace the diode with an open circuit our new circuit will look like this circuit and you will see that in as this circuit gets opened the current flow in the circuit i will be equal to zero as the current flow is equal to zero therefore there is no voltage drop across this resistor r and we are taking the output across this terminal and this terminal and you will see that the output voltage will be equal to vo will be equal to minus vr from this point to this point of the in or within the this interval of the input voltage after that the output voltage will follow the same shape of the input voltage this will be minus vr so this is the output voltage of this biased negative series clipper with negative bias 
voltage now i will show you the operation of negative shunt clipper with positive bias that means biased negative shunt clipper with positive bias see when a resistor and diode is connected like this that is known as negative shunt clipper circuit and if we add additional bias voltage that will be known as negative shunt clipper with positive bias so i am applying this sinusoidal voltage at the input side and i am getting the output across this terminal and this terminal so when the input is in positive half cycle this terminal will be positive this terminal will be negative as the positive terminal is connected with the p side with the n side of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the p side of the diode that means this input voltage during the positive half cycle is trying to drive the diode in reverse bias but the input voltage the but the reference voltage or the bias voltage its positive connect positive terminal is connected with the p side and the negative terminal is connected with the n side of the diode so in that case the this reference voltage is trying to drive the diode in forward bias that means our transition voltage will be lying in the positive region of the input voltage when the input voltage is equal to plus vr the input voltage will minimize the effect of this reference voltage that means the same amount of input voltage will try to uh, try to drive the diode in reverse bias as the same voltage that is trying to drive the diode in forward bias so le so let me in indicate the transition voltage in the input side this is our so this will be our transition voltage and you will see that as long as the input voltage is greater than this transition voltage our diode will be in reverse bias and when that input voltage is less than the transition voltage our diode will be in forward bias or in on state so when the input voltage is greater than our transition voltage that means from this point to this point the input voltage is greater than this transition voltage this diode will be in forward this diode will be in reverse bias so i can replace this diode with an open circuit as if we replace this diode with an open circuit that means this branch that is connected between this point and this point will be wiped out from this circuit so during the reverse bias if i replace the diode with an open circuit our new circuit will look like this circuit as this is an open circuit the current that is flowing in the circuit i will be equal to zero therefore ir drop or the voltage drop across this resistor will be equal to zero that means when the input voltage is greater than the transition voltage our input voltage will appear directly across this output terminal so our output term voltage will be vi vo equal to vi that means our output voltage will follow our input voltage from this point to this point input voltage is changing this way so our output voltage will also follow the same wave shape now consider the input voltage less than the transition voltage in that case the diode will be in forward bias when the diode is in forward bias i can replace this diode with a short circuit so i have replaced the diode with a short circuit and our new circuit will look like this circuit and you will see that whatever the input voltage or however the input voltage is changing we are taking the output across a voltage source have a value of plus vr therefore our output voltage will be equal to plus vr within this interval so our output voltage will be plus vr when the input voltage is less than from this point to this within this interval input voltage is less than the transition voltage therefore our output voltage will be equal to plus vr and from this point towards this point our input voltage is less than the transition voltage so our output voltage will also be equal to plus vr and this is the complete waveform of this negative shunt clipper circuit now i will show you biased negative shunt clipper with negative bias here i am applying a sinusoidal voltage and we have a negative reference voltage as there is a reference voltage at first i have to indicate a indicate the transition voltage or the region in which the diode will be in forward bias or in the region the 
and the region in which the diode will be in reverse bias. During the positive of cycle of the input voltage, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. That means the positive terminal of the input voltage is connected with the N side and the negative terminal of the input voltage is connected with the P side. And you will see that the negative terminal of the reference voltage is also connected with the N side of the diode and the positive terminal is connected with the P side of the diode. That means during the entire positive half cycle, our in our diode will be in reverse bias. Now consider the negative half cycle of the input voltage. During the negative half cycle of the input voltage, this terminal will be negative, this terminal will be positive. As the input, the positive terminal of the input voltage is connected with the P side and the negative terminal of the input voltage is connected to the N side. And, and in case of this reference voltage, the negative terminal of the reference voltage is connected with the P side and the positive terminal of the reference voltage is connected with the N side. That means the input voltage is trying to drive the diode in forward bias and the reference voltage is trying to drive the diode in reverse bias. So there will be a value of input voltage for which it will totally eliminate the effect of this reference voltage and when the input voltage is equal to minus vr our total effect of this input of this reference voltage and this input voltage will be equal to zero and that voltage will be our transition voltage and this is our transition voltage minus vr for the input voltage greater than this transition voltage our diode will be in reverse bias and for the input voltage less than this transition voltage our diode will be in forward bias so for the input voltage greater than the transition voltage this diode will be in reverse bias so when a diode is in reverse bias i can replace that diode with a open with an open circuit that means i can discard the branch of the diode from the from this terminal and this terminal so if i replace the diode with an open circuit our new circuit will look like this circuit and that means from this point to up to this point input voltage is greater than the transition voltage and our output voltage will be directly appeared across the input voltage because there is it is an open circuit so the current in the circuit will be equal to zero therefore the voltage drop across this resistor ir will be equal to zero that means our output will follow the input voltage and will take a shape look like looks like this up to this point okay now consider the input voltage from this point to this point input voltage is less than the transition voltage when the input voltage is less than the transition voltage our diode will be in forward bias that means i can replace this diode with a short circuit if i replace the diode with a short circuit our new circuit will look like this circuit and you will see that we are taking the output across these two terminal and uh, and when the diode gets shorted, our output voltage will be equal to minus VR. That means from this point to this point, our output voltage will be equal to minus VR. That will take a shape like this. After that, our output will follow the input. Okay, so this ends my lecture regarding negative shunt clipper with biased voltage. That's it. Thank you.